It's December and December means it's the holiday season and the holiday season means there's a ton of food. So today I thought I would show you a recipe perfect for the holidays. It's a dulce de leche cheesecake. We're making the base with ginger snap cookies. The filling is packed with dulce de leche and we're topping it off with even more dulce de leche and some hazelnuts here and there. Now I know this recipe is super indulgent, but it's perfect for special occasions and I guarantee that your friends and family will love it. So before we begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you are the first to know when I upload new videos and make sure your notifications are turned on as well. And without further ado, let's get started. To make the base, I have 150 grams of speculose or ginger snap cookies that I'm placing into a Ziploc bag and crushing with a rolling pin or until I'm left with about a cup and a half of cookie crumbs. Although you could use any cookie, my personal preference is ginger snaps because it pairs beautifully with the interior of this cheesecake. To which you're going to add in a quarter cup of melted unsalted butter. Give those ingredients a quick toss. When you're left with a damp, copper-colored mixture, you can tumble it into a 9-inch springform pan that's been greased with a little bit of butter. Pat the cookie crumbs down as evenly as you can, and you can press them a little bit up the sides as well to hold the filling in. Then just set the base aside while we prepare the cheesecake filling. To 750 grams of cream cheese, add in a quarter cup of sugar. Brown is best, but granulated is fine too. Then add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now for the star of the show, the dulce de leche. This is one cup, and in many places around the world you can buy this as a can. In the UK I believe it's carnation caramel. In Poland we call it masa krówkowa. Try and see if you can buy some because it makes the process a whole lot easier, but you can also make your own and I will have instructions on the blog post, so be sure to check that out. The link is in the description box. Dump the dulce de leche into the cream cheese. Then just stir the ingredients together using a wooden spoon, a whisk, a combination of the two, or an electric mixer to speed up the process. Next, toss in three whole eggs, followed by half a cup of sour cream. Gently blend those in. When you're left with a lush pastel colored batter, you can pour it atop that crust. Give the pan a little shake to settle the mixture. Now you could have added in all the cheesecake batter, but I actually reserved a third of it, to which I added 50 grams or about 2 ounces of melted dark chocolate. While this step is optional, it does take the cheesecake to a whole new level. Dollop the chocolate mixture atop the dulce de leche mixture. Run a butter knife through the batter a couple of times to give it a nice swirl, and then you can give the pan another tap to settle the mixture. Then place the cheesecake into a 180 degree Celsius preheated oven for about 45 minutes or until the edges are slightly puffed. The center will still be a little bit jiggly, but it'll set nicely once the cheesecake has a chance to cool, so you want to cool it completely. And behold. To finish the dessert, pile a generous amount of dulce de leche on top of the cheesecake. A half cup is perfect for a nice thick layer. And this is a great way to cover up any cracks or imperfections and my cheesecakes are usually cracked because I'm super impatient. Next, I like to sprinkle atop some crushed up hazelnuts. Pecans or any sort of nut would be perfect for this. Crushed ginger snap cookies are also another tasty garnish. To make this cheesecake a little bit more festive, I also decorated it with some gold Christmas trees that I made out of some gold construction paper, toothpicks and a little bit of glue. I'll also leave some instructions on the blog. And now you are finally ready to indulge. This cheesecake is lush, creamy, and decadent, making it a perfect addition for your holiday spread, whether you celebrate Christmas or not. The gingery cinnamon base paired with that dark chocolate helps cut through the sweetness of the cheesecake and those hazelnuts add a nice crunch. This dessert is a festive spin on an all-time classic, an unforgettable finish to any special occasion. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make this incredibly delicious cheesecake. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me what you thought. Now as always, you can find the full printable recipe on my blog at hotchocolatehits.com and I wish you all a very happy holiday season no matter what you celebrate and I will see you next time. Bye bye.